how are the super wealthy among NRIs thinking about investing in India? Yeah, so the NRIs are uh, uh, such a very important part of India's wealth creation story, right? Mm -hmm. uh, on one thing, we've trumped every other nation. $83 billion of inward remittance, right? Uh, when we looked at the data for the last uh, year. So, uh, again, the top NRIs look at very many products. One is, of course, their interest in uh, Indian equities uh, is very strong. Uh, so, direct equity investment is something that they really like. And if you look at the returns of uh, the Indian equity market over the last four to five years, it's been uh, uh, clearly in the top quartile, even if you compare with other markets globally. Uh, then, of course, they are very interested in uh, uh, taking leverage positions in terms of, uh, so let's say even if I book 100 rupees in a deposit, uh, can I get a leverage against that deposit? and look to invest in uh, other uh, higher alpha creating opportunities. Okay. So, uh, bonds leverage, right? Uh, so, if they put $100 in a bond, uh, what percentage of that can be leveraged further is something that they are always very inquisitive about. And as you leverage more times, and if you do it intelligently, uh, it increases your alpha. But if you play the leverage game negatively, it can lead to severe capital erosion. So, that is where I think astute thinking and the right product choice becomes very important. So, I would say NRIs are uh, looking to do that. Uh, the other, uh, you know, uh, asset class that continues to be of great interest to NRIs more and more is also looking at uh, real estate, commercial real estate investments in India uh, and uh, REITs mm -hmm. uh, which can build those kind of structures are something that are of increasing interest to them. So, yeah. because they realize that uh, as India climbs the ladder on GDP, the GDP per capita and so on, uh, there are so many more commercial uh, establishments that are getting set in. And there the rental flows tend to be very predictable, right? Imagine top MNCs globally setting up their global transformation offices in India. Uh, so, rental receipts are uh, very clear over a 10-year time frame. And they would like to be part of that uh, wealth creation opportunity as well. 